This video has been sponsored by Squarespace. Okay, so today could get very interesting. <laughs> so if you've not watched the previous videos, this is the Maserati that I bought for £16,500, possibly the cheapest in the UK, if not the world at the time. And the plan for this car was to Liberty Walk kit it. I'm talking wide arches, big deep disc wheels, low as you like, and this will literally be one of one in the UK. There is no other Liberty Walk Maserati here. And I understand that this lot might be for everyone's taste, but to do something out of the ordinary, you've got to do something extraordinary. And inside this box here is the first sort of piece to the Liberty Walk kit. And inside that box is air suspension. And if you don't know what air suspension is, it makes your car do this. And this is needed for the Liberty Walk kit to make it sit right. And I'll let you in on a little secret, I've never fitted air suspension in my life. But today we've been truly blessed with the lads at Mallory Performance who are letting me use the ramps for me to attempt to fit this air rod suspension. So let's get inside and go for it. Okay, so there's two pieces to an air ride kit. This is what they call an airbag. Your normal suspension, damper, but instead of a spring, you've got an airbag. But that will go in replacement for the standard suspension. And then that's where the airline will go in. And this is the management system. So in here, we've got a big air tank, which obviously stores all the pressure of the air. I don't even know what I'm going on about here. But that is the management system and that will stay inside the boot. Right, let's get installed in it. Right, stop the video, here's the deal. This was actually impossible to get off. I'll film the other side, but I had to risk my life to get this off. Here's the clip. <laughs> so we had to get the top mount off whilst it was compressed because this is completely seized. I've called in for assistance. Phil is actually putting one bag on now. In these videos, Matthew makes out that he does all the work, but really <laughs> I run in, do it, and then he, he takes the glory. Fact. So, we're going for it, full commitment to Matt with today's sponsor of the video. Thanks Matt. So, I have my dream job. One of the cars I've always dreamt of having. The coolest dog. So what else could I possibly need? An amazing website. A what? An amazing website. Well, where would I get one of those? Well, you could go to squarespace.com today's sponsor of the video. What is squarespace.com? Ah, you see, from websites to online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build and run your website. Okay, sounds cool and all, but what can you actually do with it? And is someone like me gonna be able to actually use that? So yeah, Squarespace is really easy and simple to use. There's hundreds of templates available. I've chose this template to demonstrate it's easy to change the photos on there to your own. You can drag and drop your logo on there. You can easily adjust and edit any section of your website to make it look unique and professional. Wow, that's truly incredible. So if you need a website, go to squarespace.com today and when you're ready to launch, use my code Matt Armstrong and you're gonna get yourself 10% off your first website or domain name. Right, back onto the Maserati.
at night and I've got the fronts on, I've got all the hoses back and labelled in, um, I've got the management system in and wired, the rear dampers seem to be seized on. And I, I, I knew there was just going to be something that was going to be seized on. The whole car is so rusty and I think I just got really lucky. I'm hoping those top mount Allen keys come off. I've not uh, had a go at them. The interior is still right behind me here. It's absolutely stripped out so I don't want to put it all back together and then it not work. So the fronts are near enough ready to go. I've just got to zip tie and make it look all neat and then put the arch linings back in. But we want to make sure it all works before we put everything back together. So we're going to have to come back to the damp issue tomorrow or for you guys in the next two seconds. So, see you in the morning. <laughs> And we're back. So the bottom bolt, believe it or not, I got it off. Phil actually got it off. Okay, we'll have to give credit to Phil. Again. Follow Phil, links in the description. <laughs> <laughs> so what's left is we've got to get that off, plug all these in, neaten it all up, then we should be out and about. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, I think everything's in. I put some air in each of the bags through the control unit inside. We're gonna lower it down, we're just gonna take it from there and then we can adjust it from there. I literally, I've never done this before, if you can probably tell. So, let's lower it down. <laughs> My days, guys, this is absolutely ridiculous. This is drive height, but to get the full experience, I think we need to go outside so I can show you what it looks like when it's on the floor is absolutely ridiculous. Let me get the interior in and then we'll take it outside. It doesn't look any different. Well, before I go and uh, lower it down, there's three settings. One, which is aired out, which will be where the car's literally on the floor. Two, which is the height you drive it on, which is that height. And three, the highest height, which will get you over speed bumps and things like that. So all of this is controlled by an app on your phone. So I can adjust the height of the front, the height of the rear, and each individual side. At the minute, I've got it set into my driving position, but, Let's see what it looks like aired out. And just to mention before it goes down, I will admit it looks absolutely ridiculous, but this is all part of the Liberty Walk kit, so just, just bear that in mind at the minute. Let's do it. <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous. I'm so sorry for all the Maserati owners, I have ruined a Maserati already. So as you guys know, this is going to have a body kit on it and obviously wider wheels as well. But when it's aired out, it literally looks like someone's nicked the wheels and left it on bricks. They sit so far in the arch, it is ridiculous. So here's the plan guys. Number one, smash that subscribe button. We're trying to get 250k by Christmas. Number two, we're going to drive this home, see what it drives like. It gets Hannah's reaction on the car. I really do not think she's going to like it. Number three, go follow Mallory Performance for letting me use the ramp on this really wet day number four i now have one car an audi r8 with no boot room at all and another car a maserati with no boot room at all and number five has anyone noticed my old mercedes 845 amg behind me let's go have a look and i'll give you an update on what's going on with that so here she is the subscribers will know what we exactly we did to this car we got it running to about 420 brake and we wrapped it but if you take a look around the front now Oh my days, what is going on here? 
So the new owner, Ash, who's a big car enthusiast, has already decided that he wants to change the wrap colour. Not only is he going to be changing the wrap colour, he's also going to be stage three tuning the A45 AMG. So that means new turbos, new intercoolers, and we're probably looking at pushing 550 brake. Obviously, all going to be done by Mallory Performance. So this car is going to be an absolute beast. So hopefully we can get some footage once it's finished on that. But for now, let's get back in the Maserati and let's drive home. Do you want to see the car? Okay. <laughs> now has air ride on it. Oh, Christ. Normal driving height. I'm gonna drop it down. Yeah. Do you know how to work it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hold down number one, which is the low, the lowest. Go for it. Oh <laughs> Where are those wheels? <laughs> the wheels. <laughs> Yeah? You've lost the wheel. <laughs> you like it? I actually do. One of the few things you do. I oh like. my god. Hannah actually likes the Maserati with the hidden wheels. Oh. So there we go. We've got Hannah's approval. So there we have it. We've got Hannah's approval of the Air Rod Maserati Gran Turismo. Now, if you can see, just up there is the Audi R8. And if you saw in the previous video on the R8, you'll know what it is that we need to fix this thing. So this will be on the road very shortly. So stay tuned for the next video on this. I can't wait to get this on the road. I still need suggestions on what color you think I should wrap it. Let me know in the comment section below. But that's effectively gonna end today's video. I can't thank you guys enough for all your support. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video. Peace out.